I think we've got another 20% to go before I feel satisfied that the U.S. has reached that weaker dollar policy we're looking for. Mm. And if that's the case, you're looking then at 130, 125, 135, sort of over the next you know, six months to a year. And at least on the dollar index, I mean, we're now lower than, than we were right before the 2016 election. Right, but it's still not low enough. Mm. You know, I, I, the weaker dollar policy that the Trump administration is pursuing is based upon making the U.S. competitive. And it has to be competitive not just for a couple of months where the dollar's weak, but you know, for the next four to eight years. Mm. And to do that, you need to have a significant correction in the dollar. And so far, you've seen a little bit of a move. This is 10%, but that's nothing. What is significant? Well, I think you need the 30% off, of the, off, the, off the highs. Mm. So that's what we're looking at, that 135 t type area for the euro, mm. which, which isn't silly. It was at 150 back in, what, 2007, 2008. So do we get that 30% correction this year? Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't see why we shouldn't, but I think it's not going to be happening overnight. It's a very mm. gradual Versus thing. Versus the euro. 